105 today again if you missed it a uh, record for the date hottest ever in june uh, 103 now and that humidity looks low but remember the hotter the air is the more moisture it can hold so 103 with 31 percent humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31 percent humidity and it is muggy out there <laughs> Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Bigby! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my heart. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there? Do something, Bigby! before he completely tears up the place. So, what am I walking into exactly? A woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. <laughs> this is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. So what set him off? Who knows what it was this time. Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. Furry prick gob shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? 
You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside! You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Just stop, okay? You're drunk! Let go! Take a look! Take a good look! You know who I am now? Hey, look at me! No way. Whoa, 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 hey, Don't... hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c <sighs> I'll fucking kill you! Alright, why'd you hit him? <clears throat> what are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. <laughs> you gonna calm down? Punishment. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Say that word one more time. What? Bitch? What did I say? You fucking... Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. Alright, you need to go. I can't go until this deadbeat pays me. For what? I let you slap me around for a while. You're lucky I'm not charging extra. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Hey, 
What did I say about that word? Come on. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Beautiful. Thank you. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. How 
much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh... It's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow. Tell me what you really think. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. disciplinarian. Snow can sometimes be a disciplinarian. There's no walking on the grass, no white's orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty? Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation, I swear. So, where are you off to? Well, I went for a walk. I don't see what's wrong with that. Didn't say there was. It's not a big deal. Just, you know, out. For a walk. That's all. Damn it, I'm late.
Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Promise me? Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it, Big B. Hey, you wink? Hmm, probably for the best. Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Damn thing fell off again. Thing fell off again. How much longer is this going to go on? Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on.
Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. At least this still works. At least this still works. Should help. My biggest fan. Hey, Colin, get up. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah, get out. Got a smoke? Thanks. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has gotta stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the Big Bad Wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true, what with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no, um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. 
Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. Big B! Snow? Come with me. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Where are we going? Out in front of the building. We have to get there. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> Yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. You knew this girl? Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fabletown. She was a prostitute. Really? I never caught her real name. Oh. Yeah. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in, and he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this, I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with, then... I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. 
for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. What is... It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This is just... So surreal. <sighs> um, what... What do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Nobody there. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Just some loose trash. Surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Bigby, do you have any idea what's going on? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? I found blood on the fence, back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. Don't tell him. It'll just complicate things. I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. He's the mayor. Deputy mayor. The position's a joke. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering.
Ukraine's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. What, are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I know. I'm taking cuts. Is that supposed to be funny? You see anyone here laughing, sheriff? Fucker. You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow! The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep! The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria! Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster! Who else is to blame if not you? Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah. Her pimp. Her... was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. I told you not to tell him. I know. I probably should have listened to you. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? 
Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Yes, that's right. Worth a try. Yes, I mean... I question it only due to the amount. It seemed a bit... excessive. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then. Or what he did to get them. Well, that's not what I have here. I can... Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. I'll be sure to let him know. This supposed to mean Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <gasps> Still looking! Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window.
What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairo? I'll go look it up. Alerlairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. What's it say about that? It says brickle bit in an older elvish hand. What's brickle bit? My magic word. What's it do? It makes animals shit gold. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And there's me. Not a good day. Yeah. Dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Yeah, that's me. Back when. Ugh. Long time ago. Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Colin and his brothers. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. 
nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Yeah, that's her all right. A long time ago. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Sorry about the car. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Shit. I'm sorry! 
That's enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> Should probably get that fixed. Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Woodsman never did much reading anyway. Is that his son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad! You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Your lock's busted. Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sakes, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. And the lamps broke, too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. Move something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh. Maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? If you're gonna say something, out with it! That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! 
And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. I'm sure Junior's mocked the walls up as well with the gunk those toys carry. You bleeding? Why? Is that... It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit ugly thing. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> a ruinous flip of events, really. Hmm. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I- No. There's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate. As you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. You were the, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Thought you wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself, the lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had the go of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, 
I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or d. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bowels to the coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. Well, merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the princes now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business, and we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can.
Oh my god. Hey, hey, you're gonna be okay. Just no, no, let me go. She, what is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water, kitchen. Did you find it yet? If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? <laughs> Faith. Do you still have that letter? Yes. Should I open it? I'm not sure if it's right. You should. There might be something that helps us. A clue. Or a lead. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Faith. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry, too. We need to figure out what happened here, and find whoever did this. What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Doesn't really help. It's sharp, and there's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. Understand. Why would someone want to kill him? When do you think that was taken? Before all this. through the chair. Yeah, the angle works if he shot himself.
strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Still a little sticky. Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. Secondhand paperbacks, old encyclopedias. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Stay here. No. Stop! Leave me alone! Up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? I had some questions for Larry. Didn't think it'd go how it did. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions too. 
What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down... leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on! Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Just leave me here. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Be honest with me. Who do you think... did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Thanks I wish you. there was... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today... There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right.
Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Bigby. I... Um, just be careful, please. The same goes for you. I will. What do you want, Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. You guys playing right now? Nah. H? Well, that'd be you, Holly. So, who's WD? No idea. Because it's also the first letter in the name. Woodsman. Yeah, I get it. If you're not playing, then you don't mind if I, uh... Regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out. You'll never guess where I found the other one of these. No, I won't. His place. Whose is that? Someone who left. 
Someone like... the guy I'm looking for? No, I'm telling you. I haven't seen him for a couple days. A lot of stools in this place. But there's only one right next to you. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and, uh... Number one or number two? For your sake, uh... I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Look, it's been a long fucking day, and I'm starting to get a little cranky. I've got questions, and I'm not leaving without answers. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? It's okay, Gren. funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. A big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So... You were planning on robbing her? Yeah. Her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood. Her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. I already know this story, Woody. You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. 
She's dead? Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. You can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. Only comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Lapdog? Really? Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. <laughs> that all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh, good. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. He's had enough! Whiskey. Double. Submit a damage report with my office. Fabletown will pay for this. Charge the drink on there, too. And the glass. Don't even think about it. 
Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Hey, he started it. You hit him first! Yeah, but he was being an asshole. Alright, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck. That's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Serial killer. Oh. Oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, it's one of us. Wait. The woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. Uh, what did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? 